Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at how to use Blu-ray. In this episode specifically, we're going to ask the question, what is Blu-ray? Now, Blu-ray is an optical storage media, just like DVDs or CDs. It stores all the information in little pits around the surface of this silvery disc. And a laser actually hits the disc, sends it back to a sensor, and reads the information. Now, the reason this is called Blu-ray as opposed to DVD is because the laser is blue in color. The ones that are used in DVDs or CDs are reddish in color, thus the name Blu-ray. Now, most people are familiar with Blu-ray as a movie technology. You can go and get the Blu-ray player at your big box electronics store. You can get the discs at the same place or at your local Walmart or whatnot. And then you can play them on your high definition TV. Now, the one thing that differentiates Blu-ray from your older discs like DVDs is its high definition. That's because Blu-ray can hold a lot of information, up to 50 gigabytes on a dual layer disc, 25 gigabytes if you're looking at a single layer on a disc. That means you can get great quality when you're playing a Blu-ray movie as compared to the old DVDs. But it also means you can store a lot of data. And this is the thing that a lot of people don't necessarily know about Blu-ray, is it's also a storage technology rather than just a movie technology. Now you can add Blu-ray drives to a desktop computer or a notebook computer. In fact, a lot of them are starting to be sold at retail these days with the Blu-ray drive already put on board. Now that means that not only can you play your Blu-ray discs on your computer or your notebook, but you can also burn Blu-ray discs, either movies or data disks if you just want to store a lot of data in one place on a handy removable disk. Now whether you want to play movies or just burn data to a disk, you're going to need a few extra things to make this work on your system that you already have. First thing is going to be a Blu-ray drive, of course. You can buy these as externals or you can buy them as internals, depending on what the system you have looks like or what the configuration is. Now, if you're planning to play back Blu-ray movies inside your computer, you're going to need a couple extra things. One of them is a video card that's capable of HDCP encoded content, and the other one is a monitor that's capable of playing back HDCP encoded content. That's copy protection that's put on Blu-ray video content to make sure that you just can't steal it. Now, we'll take a look at that in upcoming episodes, how to go about getting them onto your notebook or your PC, and we'll show you how to put on the software that you'll need to make this happen, and we'll show you how to burn a disk. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series for that, and check out the show notes for this and the other parts in the series at Butterscotch.com.